Hello all, welcome to part 24 of Kukumbar BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate one exception that you may face while working with Kukumbar projects, that is duplication step definition exception, okay? Duplicate step definition exception, okay? So when do you get this kind of exception? I'm going to show you practically, guys. So let's switch to this uh, Eclipse ID. And here already we have some three feature files which are already created. I'm going to create the fourth feature file. This I'm not going to continue, guys. This feature file I'm going to delete immediately after this session, okay? This is this uh, this feature file is only for dummy purpose, okay? So I'll select this uh, file and uh, name this file as uh, forgot password dot feature, okay? Feature extension. This feature file I'm not going to continue, guys. I'm going to delete after, okay? This session, okay? The purpose of I creating this feature file is only for demonstrating this duplication or duplicate step definition exception, okay, feature. So I'll write the feature as a forgot password, okay. User should be able to, for, uh, forgot password functionality or something I'll write, okay. And here I'll write some scenario, I'll write, mm, user, uh, I mean, forgot, Reset password, reset password on forgot, I mean, uh, on forgetting it, okay? Forgetting it or something, okay? Reset password on forgetting it. If some scenario, I'm, some dummy scenario I'm writing, given I open, given user opens, given user opens the application URL. Okay, if you see this particular step may be matching with the previous, uh, feature file step, you, uh, given user opens the application is there here, given user the op open application URL, okay? So here given user opens the application, which step is matching here, you see given step is matching, okay? With this uh, step in the search dot feature file, just uh, be aware of that, okay? And remaining steps doesn't matter, uh, okay? I'm trying to produce that exception guys, okay? I'm trying to produce an exception by creating the same step, which is there in the search dot feature file, it's a separate feature file, right? This forgot password is a separate feature file. So uh, unknowingly, you may try to write some steps which may already, for, for which you already have created in step definition. For example, here in the search dot feature file, for this step, uh, step given user opens application in the uh, search dot uh, Java step definition method, you already created a method here, guys. You already created a method, okay? Application got opened, user opens the application, okay? Already it is created. This method is already created. User opens the application is already created. But annoyingly, what happened with was uh, when you are creating this another feature file, again, you got the same step, but you didn't remember that this particular step you already have implemented as part of another feature file in the step definition as a step definition method. But without remembering that you are writing this step assume, okay? Given user opens the application user, uh, application URL, okay? And uh, when, user clicks on my account and selects login option and clicks on forgot password, forgot password option, okay? Then, and clicks on forgot password option and enters enters valid email address okay enters valid email address and clicks on and clicks on this is the scenario i'm trying to automate and trying to write okay tutorials.com slash demo clicks on my account then select the login option here forgotten password link this is forgotten password forgotten password option and after that user has to enter the valid email address and click on the continue button. That's it, okay? And clicks on continue button. What should happen after the user clicks on continue button, okay? If, uh, for example, here, clicks on continue button. User should get this warning message, okay? A, a kind of message should come, okay? An email with a confirmation link has been sent to your email address, okay? Proper confirmation, proper confirmation message should be, okay? Should be displayed, okay? This is what is the scenario I have written. So, and uh, you see, it's already implemented, right? You see, this is 
not getting highlighted. That means it's already implemented as part of another step definition method. So, but without, uh, you see, without understanding that this step is already implemented, what you did was, okay, what you did was you created a new class and name this class as per got password, okay, forgot password dot Java. In this, you created the step definition method for that particular step, okay, for this particular step, okay, without noticing that. So just to save time, guys, I'll copy paste and I'll go to the tidy gherkin, okay. Uh, in the previous sessions, I showed you how to do it manually. Just to save time, I'm just uh, going to the tidy gherkin, guys, okay, which will generate the steps for us uh, in a quick manner, okay. We just have to modify the default things, okay. Just open the tidy gherkin, paste the tomorrow. This tidy gherkin may not be available, so already have teach you how to create your own step definition methods. You can follow that approach. If this, you see, these are the methods generated, auto generated, or you can even run using Eclipse ID also. This feature file you can run, guys, and it will generate. Okay. So anyhow, I'll copy from here for now. Okay. So and go to the forgotten uh, for, forgot password. Uh, okay. So there is some problem. I'll copy it properly. Till here, I'll copy and uh, I'll paste it. Okay, after pasting it, hover the mouse on edit the rate given. Okay, and import this from IO Cucumber and remove this part and uh, throws throwable. Okay, here also throws throwable. Here also throw throwable. Hover the mouse and uh, import it from when. Okay, here also throw throwable. Hover the mouse on edit the rate then and import this. Import this and and remove this throw throwable and also remove this statement. Okay, you see the generation. If you generate these methods, it will not take much time. You just have to write the print statements as we already have done in the previous sessions. Okay, just remove these steps. Okay, just remove this. Okay, fine, guys. Now I'll write the print statement system dot out dot print ln. Okay. So I forgot that this particular step is already, okay? This step is already implemented as part of another step definition method. So in case of, in case of, uh, you know, uh, this Cucumber project, right? Uh, any of the step of this feature file can be part of any of the step definition classes. It doesn't mean that login step should only be in the login.java. Uh, register should be only in the register.java such dot feature should be only in the search dot. It's not like that. It can be anywhere. Okay. The cucumber is cucumber tool is very intelligent that it can identify anywhere. So without understanding that I am trying to duplicate this method in a separate class. This method is already implemented as part of the search dot Java, but again, the same method I'm implementing in the forgot password dot Java step definition class. So here is a problem that will arise. This will result in an exception. Okay. User has opened okay uh, otherwise application you are has uh, ap application application you are all got opened like this i'll write okay here i'll write system dot out dot print here double quote and here double greater than symbol just for identifying the print statements in the output console i'm writing this double greater than symbol otherwise it's not required user clicks on on my account option User has clicked on that. Okay, has it's already done. Okay, this step is as you did. System dot out dot print here and here I am writing proper confirmation message got displayed. Okay, then here I'll write down system dot out dot print here. I'm just writing randomly. Okay, so I'm not following a proper uh, uh, step one step two like that. I'm just trying to fill all these methods. That's it. Okay, from starting to beginning. User has selected, user has selected login option, user has selected uh, login option. Then here I'll write uh, system.out.println. User has clicked on uh, forgotten password link. Okay. Then here I'll write user has entered the email address. User has entered valid email address. Then here I'll write system.out.println. Okay. User has clicked on continue button. 
you are all right user has clicked on continue button okay like this i'll write now save all so i i implemented all the steps of this uh, you know kind of thing you see this step is enters valid email address is not coming let me try to update the project once and see if this is going or it's still remaining update project say okay if the step is still there as highlighted then you see it's got removed okay sometimes it happens there will be there will be some temporary glitch you have to update the maven project it will be gone again it came that means there is a problem so enters valid email address uh, okay forgot password maybe i have not implemented or something yeah it is there here now maybe this space okay is causing the problem i am guessing just remove that space and uh, again update the project Maven, small space also will cause a problem sometimes. Okay, you have to be aware of that. You see, now it is properly implemented. Looks like. Let's see after after the progress is done here. Let's see the this feature file. If it, nothing is getting highlighted, then everything is implemented. That's all good, guys. I'll go to the runner class now. And if I run this uh, runner class, this time we'll get an exception because you see the search dot feature file. Given user opens the application is already implemented as part of the search dot Java. The same method is implemented again in the forgot password dot java here again the same method got the same step got implemented it is a duplicate step so whenever you have a duplicate step your scripts will not run okay when you run this runner dot java using junit here right click run as junit here you will get that exception immediately in the output console in the eclipse ID, uh, id output console you see none of the steps got executed instead you got duplicate step definition exception it's not duplication so it said duplicate, okay, duplicate, duplicate, okay. That's what I'm wondering. It's a duplicate case, okay. I'm just writing it wrong here, okay. So fine. So I'll just uh, open this here. This is a duplicate step definition exception, okay. I updated this name here, duplicate step definition exception, okay. So you will get this duplicate uh, step definition exception to overcome that. What you have to do? You have to go to the forgot password and remove this step. It's not required. It's already implemented as part of the previous steps of the other feature files. Why to implement it again? Okay. And simply say control shift O unimplemented uh, import statements will be removed. Non-used uh, import statements will be removed. Now run this runner.java and see what will happen. This time we should not get an exception. Okay. And but there is a problem. What is the problem here? Let's see. So reset password. Is running first, it seems. Okay. Reset password on forgetting it. Application got opened is open. Given user opens application URL. When user clicks on my account and selects login option and clicks on forgotten password and enters valid email address and uh, clicks on continue button. Ambiguous step definition exception is coming here. Some other exception is coming. Okay. Here we are getting another exception known as ambiguous definitions exception. Clicks on continue button matches more than one step definition more than one step definition, okay? Clicks on continue button matches more than one step definition. Uh, so more details, I just need to find out. Another exception is coming guys, okay? We'll try to resolve this exception in another uh, video, okay? I'll try to resolve this uh, in the next video guys, okay? I'll resolve this in the re next video, runner.java and all. So feature file 28, uh, no, 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 this is not the one, sorry. I should go in a proper way. We'll first find out where exactly it is coming from. Mm, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm not able to find it. Yeah, the proper confirmation should be displayed. And this is the step it is coming with. And user uh, and, uh, and clicks on continue button and clicks on continue button is giving that problem, guys. Is there any class having that? Okay, let's see that from login and clicks on and clicks on login button is there. Okay, and here, uh, Okay, register dot feature. We'll see. Clicks on continue button. You see, this is ambiguous, right? Uh, this is already there. Okay, clicks on continue button is already there. We already implemented here. So, clicks on continue button is there. What about uh, this one in the forgot password? Clicks on continue button is there in the forgot password, and also in the register dot Java. Also, we have that uh, clicks on continue button, maybe. Okay user clicks on where is that method yeah clicks on continue button is matching 
But the problem why we are getting that ambiguous uh, definition exception, there is a may, there may be a reason, guys. Here you see you are following cucumber expressions, whereas in forgot password you are following regular expressions. That's the reason it's not giving a duplicate. Uh, duplicate step definition exception you are not getting. Instead, you are getting ambiguous step definition exception. I'll explain more about this ambiguous step definition exception in the next session. Anyhow, it came for us. So I'm going to resolve that in the next session. And I'll continue this session with the next session where I'm, I'll be resolving this ambiguous step definitions exception. So that's all for this session, guys. We are able to resolve this duplicate step definition uh, definition exception. Anyhow, we are getting another exception that I'm trying that I will resolve in the next session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.